Hello everyone, I'm Tang Sri and I'm tuning in from Germany. Um, however, I'm a PhD student at University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and really, really excited to be here and learn folks working on different aspects of Web3 space and I would also like to share some of my research interest to pitch for collaboration or for the discussion, hopefully. So primarily, I work in mostly usable security and privacy, as well as accessibility, covering both end user and developers. So the frequently population group that I work with are people with visual impairment. So I, but today I choose a topic that I am currently working on. So it's about exploring smart contract developer security practice and challenges. And it's a combination of user experience research and smart contract security as a whole. So maybe to start with the challenges you can see here, um, where like security is a fundamental concern for smart contract. And it's not very clear how smart contract developers approach for security. So this might include um, their security perception, or it could be practice, including different tool and resource that they use. And even in some aspect, the company culture as well. And in many cases, it might also happen that developer use security tool, but still fail to identify the security issues. And that lead to some of the attack that we always see on news report. And to unpack some of this like goal, futuristic goal in this community, possible solution could be um, doing user-centered research to identify different factors that might hinder the security practice as a whole. So this could unpack or point out some of the shortcomings of current contract security toolings, such as its usability and accessibility. And just to give some example here, um, you can see two flowchart. Um, these are two different strategies that um, I just presented from my um, usability research with um, smart contract developers. So these are two snapshots from two different uh, developers. Um, and they took these approaches while they are given a code review for smart contract. And these two workflow are pretty different uh, while they are trying to review and identify vulnerabilities. The reason they're dif uh, different because one of them started with compiling the contract and check different coverage test and um, cleaning the code with different linking uh, libraries or something. Uh, and then going into um, like skimming through the code um, to find out that, um, to identify the smart contract vulnerabilities in there. While the other developer, um, this developer started with skimming to the code manually, not using any tooling at the first um, at the first pace, and um, he was focusing more on code optimization. And this two example or snapshot is to just point out the different approaches that smart contract developer might the code review or write smart contract because it's a very new space. Um, so in this process, we also like found out that there are different resources they are um, they are like using or they have different experiences that they found limitation around the resources and that might hinder their security consideration. Um, and so this is all good. We are getting some qualitative study and having um, rich data, but it has many limitation because in the qualitative study, we cannot do like um, hundred or thousand of people's interview, right? We can just do 30 or some, some of the people uh, from the population group or sample. Um, so um, though this provides uh, initial design implication for security toolings based on developers need and like structural education for smart contract development, um, but to scale this study to have uh, generalizable outcomes, um, we are now trying to follow, um, scale a follow-up survey 
to help answer more quantitative question as well. And within this purpose, like we have launched a survey on smart contract developers practice and would like to call for participation because now I'm here. So I wanted to take this opportunity to just call for if there is any smart contract developers who is joining here today. So um, I'll, I'll, if you're interested, um, please participate. It would be great to have um, to have to know your uh, perception practices and um, resources that you use for smart contract development. Um, and if you have any questions regarding this uh, research area or would like to discuss more, feel free to reach out to me in my email address. Um, and if you have any questions, I would love to um, answer it. And thank you so much for this opportunity to um, let me present this interesting, not interesting, the research that I am interested in <laughs> here. And thank you, everyone. <laughs>